Hello guys, this is Sunny Kumar from MNC Part Two, and from I am from IIT BHU, and today I will be discussing the question of January Circus 2020 and make the string equal. And before starting this question, this question, I will ask the viewers to subscribe to our channel to get for the latest updates. If you haven't subscribed or if you haven't pressed the bell icon yet, so jumping directly into the problem set. This question says that we have been given two strings S and T and consisting of lowercase Latin letters. Your task is to determine if S and T can be made equal by making some certain number of swaps. And the rules of this question says that swap any two adjacent characters in S and also swap any two adjacent characters in T. So if we are swapping any one at this any adjacent characters in s correspondingly we have we are we have to also swap the adjacent character any adjacent character in string t also so there is a test case and s and t would be given in the length of the string if we can make the strings equal by doing certain number of adjacent swaps we have to print yes otherwise we have to print no test case varies from 1 to 2 into 10 power 4 and uh, length of string varies from uh, 1 to 2 into 10 power 5. Now let us understand this question mathematically. Okay. Suppose, okay. First, let us understand that what uh, is the, what are the tags that are associated with this question. So the main tags associated with this question is implementation implementation part and there is a brute force tech approach also and there is we can also use the string matching algorithms yet i the matching algorithms and many more simple techniques so now the let us understand this question by certain examples now first we have to check that we have been given two strings s1 and s2 let us suppose now by making by doing certain number of adjacent swaps in a string s as well as a string t let us say that we are doing x sorry we are doing x amount of adjacent sorry adjacent swaps sorry we are doing x amount of adjacent swaps so the first thing you are going to check that if the both the strings are anagrams of each other means the number of means whatever the character is present in the string s and its frequency must match to the character in the string t and its frequency suppose let us explain some anagrams feature of the string suppose we have a string a a b b b c c and we have another string such that it would be like C, B, A, B, and C, and again B, B, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A. We have this string. Okay, you can see that. You can easily observe that here in this case, amount of A is equal to 5 and b equal to 3 and c equal to 2 and in this case whether the characters are permuted in some random order but the frequency of each character is like a equal to sorry 1 2 3 4 5 a is 3 there is one more a sorry a is in this in this string a is also 5 and b is also 2 and c is also sorry b is 3 here and c is also 2 so it doesn't matter whatever will be the order of the string but the frequency of string and the character is matching with the uh, string s1 so we can say that both are anagrams of each other then we'll leave we are do after doing certain number of adjacent swaps we can make both the strings equal first we have to check that whether both the strings are anagrams of each other or not so we can do easily by 
sorting both the strings in ascending order or in descending order and check whether both the strings are equal or not so first we have to check this condition now again we can easily observe that if now the strings are anagrams of each other now we can easily observe that if any two characters and if any if uh, sorry if uh, we can easily observe that if any two characters in one of the string is same like suppose we have uh, an string a b c d e f we can say that uh, if there are two two characters which are same a and a so we can always make this string equal to its anagram whether it is sorted in any order by always swapping these common double a so like suppose we have another string here so let us say b c d e f and a so we can always make this string equal to this string after certain x adjacent swaps in uh, performing certain x adjacent swaps in both the string but suppose we are always doing swapping double a and we are uh, moving this a to the first position and again this a to the first position and similarly uh, we are shifting this b c d e f in the second string to its right place as in the first string by always swapping this double a so there is a benefit that you can always check if two adjacent character if two characters in one of the strings are same we can always uh, make our answer yes so first condition you have to check that whether the strings are anagrams of each other or not then you are going to check whether if any two characters in one of the strings are same then we can always uh, make uh, the strings equal now suppose we have this string where in no adjacent no two characters are same in one of the strings or the other of the strings now you can easily see that the c is already going to match the c so these positions have are already matched so what we are going to do is we are shifting this c to a, one of the leftmost position or the rightmost position suppose we are shifting this c to the rightmost position and we are suppose after doing one swap to s1 to c and d similarly we are doing the one swap to c and b in s2 so our s1 would become a b and swapping c and d would give d and c and our s2 would become d a and c and b we are going to have b and c so what is the basic what is the need of doing this that so first we are going to do that whenever we are whenever any character in s1 matches with the another character in its s2 at the same position we are going to shift this string shift this character to the either the leftmost or the rightmost for the simplicity for solving the further questions now we can see that the string is abd and another string is dab and we have to make this sub string equal to an, this sub string so you can see that now let me explain a bit clearly so if we take sub string like abd and another s2 would be like d a b now you can see that suppose we are fixing d here and we are making this string s1 must to s1 equal to s2 so we have, we have to shift d to the i equal to 0 index and shift b equal to i equal to two uh, index and shift a equal to i equal to one index to make equal to to make the string s1 equal to s2 so what we are going to do is first we are fixing this d and we are making this d equal to this d so so to for for making for so, sorry so for bringing this d to the i equal to 0 index we have to perform two swaps that is we are swapping first b and d and then again we are swapping d and a sorry 
after swapping one time the string is s1 is going to be like a d b sorry s1 is going to be like a d and b and again after one swapping we have the s1 is going to be like d a b so it requires two adjacent swaps so where you can notice that uh, for even number of swaps we can perform we have to perform two swaps in s2 also so for even number of swaps you can easily notice that we can swap any two adjacent characters even number of times the string will remain same so after performing an even number of swaps so suppose we are swapping a and b in s2 so after performing one swap the string in s2 would be like d b a and again after performing one swap the string in s2 would be like d a b so we can say that after performing even number of swaps the string in s2 becomes same as that of previous so we can notice one thing that for even number of swaps the string in s2 does not going to be changed so we are going to do this for each and every character of s1 which are not matching with its corresponding position in s2 suppose we are bringing this d to its first position so the string would be like d a b and after performing two adjacent swaps the uh, s2 would be also d a b so it is we can see easily that uh, the strings are equal suppose let us take an another example such that it would be like let's take example 3 okay so s1 would be like a b and s2 would be like b a so after so we have to bring this b to its i equal to 0 index and number of swaps that it would require is one swap so we have to perform one swap in this also so so the number of swaps is odd so we cannot do we the swaps must change the string at more must the this swap the odd number of swap must change the string at its one position so if we are bringing this b to one of this position that is i equal to 0 index our string would be like for s1 would be like ba and s2 would be like now it is ba and and we have to do one more swap and we can say that after we are done with this b to ba we cannot and we cannot make a, if we make a, another swap the string ba would not be going to be equal to this string anyhow so we arrived at conclusion that for each and every string for each and every character of s1 that is not equal to s2 at its corresponding position we are going to bring the character back to its correct position as of s2 and check how many swaps are going to required to bring it uh, to its correct position if the swaps is odd we are going to uh, we are going to count that number of swaps for each character and uh, at finally if we are checking that the number of character is going to be even so we can easily say that the string can be brought to equal to s another string easily and if the count is going to remain odd then we cannot bring the string to equal to t So let us move us to the implementation part of this question. Just let me big the screen size. So this is basically the template. I usually recommend that you must follow this. So now, first of all, I am taking the number of test cases, and I am using this FIO for fast input output, so that our code does not get time limit exceeded. For so for every test case that I am going to take the number of sorry the length of the string and the uh, two strings s1 and s2 and we are going to solve this solve and s1 s2 and if this comes if this returns yes we are going to print if this returns true we are going to print yes otherwise we are going to print no now as i have said that first we are going to check if the sorted strings are same the strings are anagrams of each other so first i will take str1 and str2 and uh, both will contain s1 and s2 we are going to sort these strings and we, we are if we take this strings doesn't match we are going to return false here so this will denote that our answer will never 
comes out to be true. And for each uh, now again I have said that I am going to check for every adjacent characters for if any two characters characters are the same or not. So I am going to iterate over the strings and if we check if str1 is going to uh, match with another string because we have already sorted the string and if any of this matches I am going to return to because the answer will come out to be true always. Now I have uh, emptied the string str1 and str2 and I am going to push back all the characters that are not equal uh, to a certain position. If s1 of i not equal to s2 of i we are going to push back to str1 and str2 because if certain characters match we are always going to push back to the either the, to the leftmost or to the rightmost so it doesn't matter so our new length would be str1 dot length and i am going to take a counter variable that would store the number of swaps and i have taken unordered map so for i have taken unordered map because i am going to store the index of the suppose i have a string a a b c d so sorry so let me take a b c d e so i am going to store the d index and e index and b index and a index in a unordered map let me write here to store the character index in the first string okay now what we are going to iterate for s2 and we will check that if the ith character of string 2 is something like so let's say a what would be the index in the uh, first uh, string str1 so j is the index of the character in the first string okay now we are go we are adding the number of swaps to a count variable to, so that uh, the character in a string s1 must match to the character in s2 at the ith position we are going to what how many number of swaps it is required to make the character at ith position equal to the another string's ith position so i am going to swap all the characters suppose i have a string a b c d e and i have another i have a string called d c d so d c b e and a so there is d and there is d so i am going to swap all the no, i am going to swap d and bring d to the first position i am swapping str1 of j and str1 of j minus 1 and similarly i am going to swap the index also as you can see here mp of str1 of j mp of str1 of j minus 1 me write swapping index also and we are going to do here that swap characters and bring it to its correct position okay and finally we are going after doing after uh, adding all the number of adjacent swap required if 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 we bring all the character to its correct position and if we are founding that number of adjacent swaps is odd you know that uh, the number of swaps is odd we cannot make another swap to may restore the uh, another string s2 to, to its correct position so if the number of swaps is odd finally number of swaps required is odd we cannot do we cannot make the string s equal to p so we are returning false and returning true if this condition holds false so basically this is an easy question implementation part and some logics we and as aware as i have already explained so the link to the code is mentioned in the description section below and if i will ask the viewers to like this video and share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you for watching this video